I'm Bev Harris, and I'm the author of the book Black Box Voting and also the founder of blackboxvoting.org. My earlier work was featured in the Emmy-nominated HBO documentary Hacking Democracy. Now, in 2003, I found about 40,000 voting machine files. Among these files were the secret programs for the GEMS central tabulator, the central server, the master computer that controls what goes into every voting machine and what comes out of them. A couple years back, I shared these files with a Memphis programmer named Benny Smith, and he has found what I would characterize as a master key to the GEMS master computers. Ready? Take. My name is Benny Smith, and I'm born and raised in Memphis, Tennessee. I found something that it just, it reeked when I first found it. But then the intrigue made me say, well, why is it there? Votes being counted as money. 16,034 votes and point three. Oh, oh, wait a minute. You can divide up people. So the master computer can divide whole votes up into fractions, and we'll see what that can do to an election. This thing becomes God to determine who the sheriff will always be, who the district attorney will always be, who the mayor will always be. Contract signing authority belongs to whoever I decide the winner is going to be. Uh, there's a lot of assumptions being made by the public and when you actually go out in the field and try to authenticate each step It's very it's very surprising really. I'm tired of her camera being on me. I don't want her near me Okay, and there's no this lady. In other words, we're not able to give them what they what they want at all hey, hey, hey. Watch what happens if you cap a candidates results at 43 percent or any percent And now imagine if the default setting is to hide the decimals. Right now, the GEMS program is installed and counting votes in 25 states and 616 jurisdictions. But fractional counting began to migrate from the GEMS program into other vendors. Voting systems which count votes as fractions may count as many as 99% of all American votes in 2016. We have these systems that are just simply not operating in a way that's accountable to the public. When we asked, why couldn't we get to the central tabulator, the intimidation that occurred there. If you ask another question, you're going to jail. My name is John Brakey. I'm an election integrity activist out of Tucson, Arizona. You know, I caught them breaking and entering into the, the computers. Uh, I could actually see them uh, going into the system that they're currently using. Well, anyway, uh, that was not, that, that computer was not supposed to have been open until the next morning because uh, it was under seal by political parties, both the Republicans and the Democrats. Uh, wow. These are the official results, uh, and uh, I, I, I'm uh, offering no explanation. At 77% of all electronic voting in this country is conducted by one manufacturer. Here's my policy and my procedure that you do not take pictures of that room. Uh, uh, your policies, you cannot rewrite Florida Sunshine Law. Later said, well, we sent the data to ES&S, the vendor, they fixed it, or they remoted it into our computers. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony that you do give in this cause will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Thank you. So they could remote into your machine? Our superior remote, our WebEx. So what exactly did they do remotely? What they did was a couple of things, and they have to speak to this. What I saw them do was run scripts against the database. If you think some of the things you've just seen look a little bit dodgy, take a look at the next sequence of events. In 2010, 10 candidates in Shelby County, Tennessee, filed an election contest to investigate numerous irregularities. They asked me to come in and help gather records to evaluate these irregularities, and I brought in Susan Pinchon from Florida, who captured the following video. Mr. Holt's back there. He's not letting us observe what he's doing. 
or he may be, who knows what he might be doing. But the whole idea is, is that we are supposed to be able to look at what was on the server, all the files, all the information. Right now, let's go ahead and get started doing the inspections. Okay, I'm just going to film where they are in there. The door to the tabulating room has been closed, and the two Presley brothers are in there without any observers whatsoever. And that is not okay. Don't, don't record him. Oh, not to. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm not getting any faces. I'm going down. I'm not getting people. They're switching out computers. They just took one in, and now they're taking another one out. I wonder why with a PC okay, all right, glass. Hold on. They're taking computers out of the bed. The guy with the PC is now walking away. This is unbelievable. Yep. And they pulled right up. Look at this. They've got the car right up to it so that you can't see the license plate. They're switching out PCs. <coughs> Out it goes. Now, see, guess what? This is county property. We're going to make a call here. Okay? We're going to make a call. If you want access to that data, we can get it for you. This computer will remain here in this building. He's taking it back out of the car now, bringing it in, I'm not taking your face. We're now carrying the same computer back in the building. An examination of the computers being taken out of the building revealed that on the morning the inspection was to begin, at 4.50 a.m., files had been purged. This one is showing on the 12th. So this the was... The 12th of what? August. All right, we're going to install the operating system, it tells me. And if you want to, uh, they won't let us download software to try to do a recovery. And depending upon how well they wiped it, we could probably recover some files, but we would have to load software onto this machine to be able to do that. So, so this operating system was installed 8-12-2010. Yeah, right. Okay. I think right? that tells us yeah, about what we want to know. Ms. Rowland, do you remember the two computers that were being removed from the facility, two desktop computers being removed? No, there were not two computers being removed. I'm tired of her camera being on me. I don't want her near. Hey, hey, hey. And thus began the investigation that led to Fraction Magic. Mr. Settle ordered that the backup tapes be located to be held in the bosom of the court. Mr. Settle was replaced and a different judge heard the case. The backup tapes were not provided until the day of the trial and they were encrypted and could not be accessed. The judge dismissed the case. In 2011, some volunteers extracted the files. I then shared them with George Monger, who had by then become an elections commissioner. In 2014, following more election irregularities, George Monger brought Benny Smith in to see what he might find in the Shelby County files. I was probably the greatest skeptic on the planet. I, you know, I had some candidates come to me and they, you know, everybody who loses their election, right, says, oh, it's stolen. Yeah, right. So, um, you know, I, I, I really grappled with um, how impossible a task it would be. So I had to, you know, lay out the framework. I had to, you know, say in order for this to succeed, these things have to be present. So when I started out, I was like, this is a long shot. There's no way. So I had to think first like a person who wanted to take an election and I just figured out what my design requir requirements would be. He then examined the files to see if they contained the unique features for what he believed would be the most effective way to alter results. The absolute feature that I needed was decimals. And after having that, any amount of precision was available to me. So having access to decimals allows you to perform in finance what they call an allocation. There is one variable that nobody can predict. How many people are going to walk into a polling place? You can't know, so you have to decide how much they're going to get. You have to be sometimes in line with what polling data is saying. If it's a close race, you have to make it close. You know, when I started looking around inside of it, I found something that it just, it reeked. The feature was a database designation to let the total votes be treated like you see money. So 
it allows it's it's a, the, the the term is called double, but it allows for decimal precision. So any number of decimal places between one and two are there. Any number of decimal places between zero and one are there, should you decide to use it. In short, it's like uh, having the ability to say that a vote is not a whole number. Um, today I'm going to demonstrate that uh, elections can be manipulated. Um, you can control the outcomes with an enormous amount of precision uh, using a feature that has largely gone unnoticed in a very familiar voting system. What it has to do is alter the results simultaneously on three different types of results reports. So what does an elections person see when they are in their office on election night? The election summary report is going to give us what the election totals are by candidate. The precinct level uh, report is called a um, SOVC or a statement of votes to cast. But the main thing that everybody else sees, they're going to see this guy right here. Um, most people are speeding through all of the races. They just want to go to the race to see who won. So I'm coming in. If I'm for Willie Harrington, I'm like, oh my God, he got baptized, right? Uh oh. Do I know this is real? I no. I <laughs> well, it depends. It depends on who you are, right? <laughs> I'm a little skeptical, right? Hey, absolutely. Hey, hey. Now, how much of this did you make up? Was this there already? Or did you just make the app that finds it? There's one more thing I need to show you before we do the quick demo. There are two screens you're going to see, which are the overlay that Benny Smith developed, which would be invisible when Fraction Magic is running. The first one looks like this to enter a password to access Fraction Magic. And the other one looks like this. It retrieves information from whatever county it's in so that the user can input their desired percents. So magically a screen appears. I'm going to bring up Shelby County, because right. that's the one that we were just doing. Uh, it latches itself on, and then it starts showing me all the available races. So I say, I want to influence uh, Congress, right? So it says to you what races are available. Oh. I choose it, um, then I can select options. Uh, it brings up this form, and here is where the magic happens. Where I can decide to unerring precision with n number of decimals how I want to influence early voting, absentee ballot, at the polls. What is method. that thing that says LOC over there? What are those? These are precinct locations. That's all you do. Then how long does it take to put all those things and make it work? How long does this thing take to execute? Is that that? Yeah, it's about 10, maybe 4 or 5 seconds. Four or five seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Votes are going to come in incrementally. It's, you know, we see on TV, 1% uh, reporting, 19% reporting. Uh, yeah, yeah, reporting yeah, yeah. Is. What does it do? How does it deal with the fact, that, you know, it, it, when do you execute this thing? You start it at the minute that the returns come in. Okay. It runs, and every time new totals come in. <laughs> it then injects those percents automatically into the election results. Everything else is the actual GEM system and the overlay that Benny developed simply uses what's already in the system. I just created a pianist accompaniment to use the features that were there. So I'm going to take a thumb drive out of my back pocket. We will enter Fraction Magic. What follows is a demonstration in real time. The footage is uncut and unedited. It shows the actual GEMS program that is used in elections right now with a real election database. You will see results change for U.S. Congressman Steve Cohen with every early vote, every absentee vote, and every polling place vote in every precinct in an 1,800-page detailed results report subjected to total domination within 20 seconds. This video captures a laptop computer screen not enhanced or altered in any way. Following the real-time demo, we will zoom in to clarified still shots so you can see for yourself that this race succumbed to Fraction Magic.
So what the heck did we just see? Let's break it down. Let's start with this. You probably noticed there were some big, fat, glaring decimals in the results shown in Benny's Magic Show. So I asked him about that. I need the presence of these to effectively manipulate this. You need to have it fractionalized. Yes. Now, does it need to show that? No, I just chose to show it. So the default setting, when you get the reports, it hides all the decimals. And now we don't see that 0.31 anymore. Oh, oh, so if I'm looking at this, I have no idea that you just changed everything. And that's the purpose of showing side by side that I know that it's 16034.31, but on here it is rounded. And I can go into multiple counties. This is a fucking joke. This is this is Game of Thrones yeah. shit right yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So don't you have to reprogram the thing? Because I mean, there's different, there's different races, there's different precincts. Okay. I don't see how that could work. No, we. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. Let's go to Alaska. I've never been oh there. My. Have you ever been there before? The state of Alaska. Let's go to Alaska. I've never been there and never seen what it looks like. I'm latching on to Alaska and learning what I need to know about those precincts and those demographics and now it's coming in to say, hey, they were running a presidential race and here were the candidates. So, we're in Alaska. Are we talking about every precinct in the state of Alaska? Every precinct in the entire state. Oh my, so you can go to any place. Any place. And it's going to know who's running and what the races are. Yes. If I jump out of here and go to Marin County, it's in um, California. California. Anything that has a measure. This is Moraine County. There's oh. a measure there. You can say, I want the know to have it. Bo boxer. Yeah. There's there Boxer. She She's running against a guy named Mickey. You're not reprogramming these counties. No. no. I'm, I'm you're complimenting using, them. You're using what's already there. Yes. So this is basically one size fits all. You can be one person and you can be entering different places, different states. Yes. And we're Gain in, total control. Yes. Um, it's a product. It's scalable. It, um, it learns its environment. It can adjust to any type of political season. It can adjust to any demographic. It can adjust to any county. Uh, it is fully configurable and it runs silently with precision. And you can create plausible results that really pass off as the real thing. So, we're being a little glib, but this had to be painful for you. What does it mean to you? You have to get it out of me now. You know, as an American voter who was once viewed as three-fifths of a person, I was diluted in my history. To go inside of this and see that our democracy is replicating this on, on all of its citizens, you know, that's bad. That's that's really bad. You know, when I when I when I built this program, I built it in disbelief, right? I started off saying that's uh, it's, it was a long shot, right? There's no way that people are have the ability to do something like that, right? And then the more I got to one step in finding out, you know, asking what if I'm wrong, right? Getting and finding out that's right and getting further and further, then it turned into man, I gotta build this. I, I gotta build it. I gotta show just how laughable it, just how egregious it is, just how scalable it is, just how much control you can actually have. And there, here, here you have it. Everybody can see it. Now people can see, you know, from start to finish, this is what it looks like if you really do it. Yeah? And hopefully this will start a dialogue. It'll start a conversation uh, about where the future of democracy should be as it comes to counting votes.
we got to be the force to make the change. Yeah. It starts here, it starts now, it starts with us. Yeah. Yeah.